Venerable religious and dear parishioners, I remember reading the story of a, of a parish where on occasion when there was great need that the sermon on, at Sunday Mass would be skipped. And one time, one of the younger priests, assistant pastors, was having Mass, and it was the hottest day of the year that Sunday. And he was thinking, well, maybe I could skip the sermon today. After all, it's very hot. But as he's walking out to Mass, he sees that the pastor is kneeling there. And he knows he better give a a sermon. And he hadn't prepared it, so he had to think on the moment. And basically, here's the summary of his words. This morning, it was very hot. It's going to get hotter. Right now, it is hot in the church. And as Mass goes on, it's going to get warmer. When you go home, you'll find that your homes are hotter than they were when you left them this morning. You're going to find that even this evening is going to be hot. But there is a much hotter place than that. Stay out of it. In the name of the Father. Well, that's not the end of my sermon. (laughs) Word has it that afterwards, people remember that sermon for generations in that parish. And uh, it's very fitting for today. I think today's going to be the hottest day of the year. But there's a place much, much hotter, and it lasts for eternity. And my dear brethren, if we love our souls, and we do, I know we do, we must think about that hot place that lasts forever. And it takes only one unforgiven mortal sin to go there. We must often in life Tell Jesus we're sorry. Keep ourselves in the state of grace. Don't delay going to confession. If you need to go to confession. And there's no suffering in this life that can begin to compare with the suffering in the next. And God makes it a very bad place. Why? Because if it weren't, Things would even be worse here on earth. At least it keeps people from sinning. They say, I don't want to go to hell. Best motive is, of course, for the love of God to not sin. If only America thought about hell, we wouldn't have such sinful living, institutionalized sinful living. My dear brethren, we owe it to ourselves And if we're scared stiff, good. We've gotten to the good place. It's no laughing matter when you really think about about it. It's real, and we could go there. You know, sometimes people say, oh, how could God send somebody to hell for all eternity? I read a very interesting article whose title was, If Hell Did Not Exist, Earth Would Become Hell. Just think about that. If hell did not exist, earth would become hell. So let us live our Catholic faith. We're called to holiness. We're called to conquer sin. And God's law is the only way to live by. Our morality does not come from the Supreme Court. Our morality does not come from Hollywood. Our morality does not come from accepted sinful ways of living. Our morality comes from God's holy word. This is the path to heaven. Don't fall off of it. And think of the consequences. Meditate on them. Let them soak in. That's why St. Alphonsus de Gori says all Catholic adults must meditate. He was saying meditate upwards of 45 minutes a day. I know that's probably beyond most people's ability, but meditate on it. Think about it. Let it sink in. And you know what? The ones that are aware of the eternal 
realities, that are aware of hell, they're the ones that will avoid it. It's the ones that don't meditate that will end up losing their souls eternally. To wrap up, as I hear a lot of Catholics expressing fear at the way things are going in society. And humanly speaking, I share your fear. But what did Holy Scripture tell us today? Have no fear of their fear, and do not be troubled. Interestingly enough, the saint for today who doesn't get commemorated because of the high mass, Saint Irenaeus, I noticed in the secret prayer in the mass, says, Sanctify the gift of thy people, we beseech thee, O Lord, by the apostolic, or excuse me, O God, who sufferest not the nations that believe in thee to be shaken by any fear, Deign, we beseech thee to receive the prayers and sacrifices of the people consecrated to thee. He was a bishop and a martyr, by the way. And then the post-communion for St. Irenaeus. O God, the author and lover of peace, to know whom is to live and to serve whom is to reign, Protect us, thy suppliants, from all assaults, that we who trust in thy defense, by the intercession of blessed Irenaeus, thy martyr and bishop, may not fear the arms of any of our foes. Let's remember that with God, if we are with God, we are always with the majority. We have the sacred heart of Jesus to console us and strengthen us. We have our mother of perpetual help. The help is there. We need to keep on reaching out and getting that help, and we shall make it through whatever may happen. God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen.